Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're going to apply the chain rule. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. Now, this is like an, a double chain rule going on here. So, if my function here is y equals two parentheses x plus five to the fifth power minus one, all of that to the fourth power. Okay. So, I can still write this as my f of g. So, we have f. I can see is this kind of big parenthesis to the fourth power. And the inside, my g here, is uh, x plus 5 to the fifth power minus 1. So now we need to find, or we can see this is my f of g. If I can hopefully see if I plug that in there, you can see how it's the f of g. So f prime, pretty easy, is 4x to the third. But g prime, sometimes when you do the double one, I, was, I won't necessarily recreate a whole other chain rule thing. I'll just kind of do it all my step here. We take the derivative of this. That power comes down 5 times x plus 5 to the fourth power times the derivative of the inside. And luckily, the derivative of the inside there, right, um, is just 1, right? x plus 5 derivative of that is just 1. And then we don't really worry about the minus 1 derivative of that. Our constant is 0. Okay, so we like minus 0 there. Okay? So now when I apply the chain rule, all right, we take my derivative, dy dx. I had to find, okay, f prime of g. Well, f prime is four parentheses uh, to the third power. And we put g in there, which is x plus 5 to the fifth minus 1. And then we're going to multiply that by g prime. 5, x plus 5 to the fourth power. And luckily, there wasn't much afterwards. The derivative of the inside was pretty easy. It was just 1. But if there was there, we'd have more things multiplied. But I'm not going to put that multiplied times 1 there. Okay, so now let's just simplify, okay? I'm just going to put the 5 times the 4 out front, and really that's going to be it. So we have my dy dx here. 5 times 4 is 20. So there's a multiplication there, parenthesis, x plus 5 to the 5th power minus 1 to the 3rd times this last little bit, x plus 5 all to the 4th power. And there we have our final answer. So let's recap. We're given y equals double parentheses, x plus 5 to the 5th power minus 1, and the second parentheses to the 4th power. I found my f and g, all right, so my f of g, and I find f prime and g prime from there. g prime was another uh, chain rule going on. So now I took my derivative, I had f prime of g times g prime. So then after that, I had my derivative, which is great, and then I said do my simple simplification using algebra, I have dy dx is equal to 20 times Second, uh, another parenthesis, x plus 5 to the fifth power minus 1, all of that to the third power, times uh, parentheses x plus 5 and parentheses to the fourth 